Would you like to visit Abruzzo or Molise in Italy? In this video, you'll find information about top attractions, local food, events and tips. Abruzzo and Molise are two bordering regions in the southeastern part of Italy and they're usually unknown by international tourists. That is because these regions do not represent the common image that tourists have in their mind when they think about Italy. Here it's not about monuments or history, but it's about nature, silence and peace. Gran Sasso National Park The third largest park in Italy, Gran Sasso is a dazzling destination for nature lovers. The area is rich in unique local flora and fauna, like the Abruzzo Chamois or the Apennines Wolf. Right inside the park you can visit Rocca Calascio, a medieval fortification built with white stone and used as a film location for Lady Hook and the name of a rose. Lake Capodacqua Hidden under the surface of this lake, there are the remains of an ancient city with streets, two mills and a paint factory that were built during the Middle Age. Adventurers can visit this unique place with authorized scuba divers. Sepino, this archaeological area was once Sepinum, a Roman city whose remains are preserved here, in particular the theater, the cathedral, the city walls and gates, as a proof of a glorious past of these lands. Scanno, a charming medieval village nicknamed the Pearl of Abruzzo, enclosed in a fascinating valley surrounded by uncontaminated nature. Visitors come here to admire Lake Scanno, a peaceful heart-shaped lake. L'Aquila The capital of Abruzzo region is appreciated for its religious architecture and art. The most famous example is the Santa Maria di Collemaggio Basilica, built in 1288 and heavily damaged by the earthquake that hit this city in 2009. Luckily today it has been completely renovated. Adriatic coast Not only mountains, these regions can also boast a lovely seaside on the Adriatic Sea with evocative panoramas, jagged coastline and rocky beaches. The most beautiful seaside spots are Basto and Termoli. Calanchi di Atri Calanchi are geological formations, in appearance dry and unwelcoming, but actually rich in animal and vegetal species, brown and tawny owls, toads, foxes, weasels, badgers and hedgehogs live peacefully among scotch brooms, tamarisk and licorice. The place is full of trekking routes. Stiffe Caves One of the most spectacular castic phenomena in Italy, these caves took shape 600,000 years ago. A touristic path of less than one kilometer brings visitors in a fantastic world with stalactites, stalagmites, plays of lights and shadows and wild water courses. Civitella del Tronto Fortress, one of the biggest and most majestic engineering and military construction projects in Europe. This ellipsis-shaped fortress measures 25,000 square meters and dominates upon Civitella, one of the prettiest towns of the area, containing the so-called Ruetta, the narrowest street of Italy. La Pineta, an archaeological site dating back to 700,000 years ago, considered of great importance to understand the first settlements of humans in Europe. Abruzzo and Molise cuisine is simple but tasty, with a great variety of soups, made with meat on the mountains and with fish on the coast. Once here, try the experience of eating inside a trabucco, old fishing machines throughout the coast that are protected as historical monuments. Some of them were converted into restaurants and only serve fish. Many desserts are made with almonds, like the famous Sulmona Confetti, a pastry covered in sugar that Italians usually donate to their wedding guests as party favors. Two are the must-try foods in this region. Arrosticini, sheep or lamb meat in a skewer cooked on a brazier. It was a traditional food consumed by shepherds. And pallotte cacio e ova, meatless balls with eggs, cheese and stale bread cooked in tomato sauce. Did you subscribe to our channel? Turn notifications on so you'll never miss an episode of Where to Go in Italy. Abruzzo and Molise are better appreciated during the summer, when the rest of Italy is weakened by very hot weather and packed with tourists. Far from common touristic paths, here you can relax and enjoy cooler weather. 
During summer, you will find a variety of festivals in each town dedicated to a different food specialty. A peculiar one is the Grape Festival in Riccia, Molise. Held on the second Sunday of September, each neighborhood builds huge carts representing grapes and wine. Visitors buy a terracotta glass and they will receive for free an unstoppable amount of wine and traditional dishes. Italians are not very nice to the region of Molise, as it is probably the least visited in Italy, and so they joke a lot about the fact that it doesn't exist. They even call it Molisent. In these regions you will find the most authentic Italy, as locals here are not so used to interact with foreigners. The Italian journalist Giorgio Manganelli once said that Abruzzo is a great manufacturer of silence. If you would like to know more about Abruzzo and Molise, we will leave you some useful links in the description below. Tell us in the comments what other Italian region you would like to discover and we will follow your suggestions to prepare new videos.